So robotics have a number of applications, and there's even a, a trade application now called cobotics, where robots work uh, side by side with human beings. When I, when I first came here, this is going to sound silly, but it was, it was almost like I couldn't believe they paid me to make parts and play with machines and stuff. It was just, it was just so much fun because it was so new, it was so new and it was so fast paced and, and, I, and I love to keep things moving along and, and it was, uh, it really intrigued me. And so yes, I thought I was gonna stay here for forever in 20, almost 24 years, I st I'm still here. Basically, we are in charge of keeping the lines front end at full production, um, catching breakdowns, uh, making parts if need be, if it's, a, if it's an outdated part that can't be sourced then, then we'll make it in house and um, make sure they get their production out, out the door. But primarily the program is designed to be for the technician who's going to be installing and repairing mechatronic systems. So robotics are usually doing things that are repetitive tasks that will cause human injury or things that are extremely hot environmentally or extremely dangerous for some um, uh, particular aspect. Uh, and sometimes they're just done where you have to have a lot of speed. I love the hydraulics part and the PLC parts and working on the different robots. We haven't we even had a chance to build our own robot once. It didn't go so well, but it was, it, was, it was great though, it was a great experience. And then the technicians that we train in this program are the ones that are going to do setups and make sure that everything's tuned uh, so that it's optimized on the manufacturing line. Basically like um, industrial automation, kind of like advanced manufacturing would be a good way to describe it. Just um, learning how to work on the components of, say, a production line and make everything work properly. We will schedule a maintenance program to do what they call a preventive maintenance on it, which is to go through everything and try and fix any problem we've had and to check and make sure that we don't have a future problem occurring. I do a little ro reprogramming on the robots. We do what we call a running PM here. So when the machine is running, you actually walk around and you use all your senses to tell, okay, if, if you've got erratic movement in an arm on one of the robots, you may have something going wrong there. So we use a running PM to diagnose a future problem that we could not see actually on a shutdown PM. Anyone who is, who is a self-motivator, for one, uh, loves to learn new skills and new, new things, um, loves to see automation, um, is, is intrigued by things like robots and computers and PLCs and stuff, I think they would, they would have a rewarding career here.